afternoon, Commanders. Um, I've, I've got a little program that um, that shows you what I'm pushing on screen on my keyboard. So I want to go through. This is going to be another one, an updated one of my... I'm going to say part one or two this time. I'm going to do a number two, but I will try to fit everything in this one show. So without further ado, guys, look, if you watch my screen, right, I'm going to hold Alt, click that unit up there. Wait for the unit to get to the position. Hold, click the unit down. You don't have to. Alt, click the unit. Now you've got to hold Alt, click the unit down. So I've got that wrong straight away, but never mind, guys. You've got to hold Alt. It's not push Alt. Hold Alt, click the unit, move. Right, let's move into this base. I'm not going to do anything fancy today. I just want to go. Uh, I keep getting asked, where's part two of this? Where's part two? Where's part two? And so I'm going to bring you it now but it's basically going to be a it's part one an updated version hopefully i will be able to show you um if you oh that jay was not meant to do uh, so get rid of all the all the bits around the outside everyone knows this is the h key um to zoom in is a z key zoom out there's a nice little call cool key here that you push and it shows the unit's health this is very handy when hitting a player's base. If they hide things sort of behind their CC, sometimes you can see the health bar of the unit. So keep in mind, same with uh, towers and buildings when they hide things under there. There are towers and buildings, things like that. The B key comes in handy. It's a very, very good thing. And you just push B to put it on and push B to turn it off. So B, I'm going to turn it off so you don't get confused. First up, is I'm going to, I've got my platoon of ERMs. I'm going to push control, shift, sorry, one. Now they're, they're uh, con oh crap, everything's running out of me. Let me bring something in that's not going to die, and then we go again. So these are going to be shift and one. And I'm going to push it, put this, this guy on F. So he's going to attack move basically. And let me get me, which is F. Fire at will, sorry. I don't want to get things too wrong here, guys. I don't want to pass out bad information. So I'm going to let him get on with that while I bring in some other things. Um, he's going to carry on attacking the base. And I'm going to bring Sundare into the picture. Sundare is going to be shift two. And I'm going to move Sundare up there. Shift one is me, Subarus. And I'm going to move down here. And let's bring in a Dracon, which is going to be shift 3. And I'm going to move about here. Oh, I still had me shift 1, I believe he was. Yeah, I still had him uh, selected. Now, I can't tell you what a deselect key is for the... I think it's spacebar. Yeah, spacebar will deselect a unit. If you watch, I've got him selected. Let me push H. He selected there, spacebar will unselect him. If I want to select a number of units at the same time, I will hold down spacebar and drag it out. I can select all three of them units, tap spacebar, they're unselected. That's a new one on me, guys. That one I only learned, uh, I say, three months ago. So I've got it. I'm learning as well. Right, let's bring me ERMs because there is a reason for having them in the platoon, and that is. I don't know how well it works on the new faction units and things like that. I know that it works well on these, and that's why I'm showing it on these. Is if you push the X key, it spreads them. And if I now tap the A key, which is attack move. So if I move, do that, they will attack things as they move. But it, there is a secondary use for it, and that is to put every single one on the same spot. Yeah, and then I can tap X, and they will move out. They will spread out. Obviously, that looks uh, that that works better if it works on the liberators. I'm not too sure. In my mind, I'm saying yes, but something something's niggling at me saying no. That no, probably won't work. So they're going to be shift four. So now I'm going to go shift one, and I'm going to put him on attack move. I'm going to, I'm going to push. You don't push shift one. You just push the number. So one, two. He's going to be fire at will. Three. Is going to be move attack, which is the M, which is pretty much the same as uh, attack move. 
but it works better with some air, air types. I don't think I've got any of the air in my thing. And shift and four because I've already pushed shift. Don't ignore me when I'm saying shift. It is because in my head I'm I'm, I'm remembering which one it is. Again, I'm going to put that one on F. I just let them attack. And I'm gonna I'm gonna find a base in a minute that will have units come at me. It's not so prevalent nowadays. It's it's sort of um it it, it was used more back in the old days, you know, um the S key where you could it would stop the attack of the, the unit coming at you. I can, I'm gonna try to. I try to bring it up, but I'm not sure how good it is. And so, if I hold down Alt, I can move my units back to my base. And back into my base. I've got some damage now. I think I've run over some mines, but ignore that, guys. I caught that with my finger. Um, I'm trying to think what else I showed. So, the HK hides all the, the stuff around around the, the um, edges of the boulders um, obviously R key let's get to, uh, I've got a turn let me go back into a base sorry if I'm taking a bit long here guys I should have written this down before I uh, so I could go through it one at a time Base to do that one to do. Bring some units to it. Um, let's bring the same units. It's only there's one, one or two more keys. I'm just remembering as I go along. Right. And obviously, you know the good old trusted Ruby. I'm going to let these uh, ERMs die off, they don't really matter. So if I go click H, that brings up that. And this this is where a lot of people click it. But if you just push the R key, I'm initiating Ruby there. So it's, you know, it's no big deal. I'm trying to think what else I forgot. Yeah. So if I go, I'm going to turn Ruby off now. And I'm going to select him. And if I go F, he's going to start fire at will so he's going to go after the units if I change my mind on this or I want to stop him right, because they're taking they're taking a damage now that the drones I can stop him now select my riflemen and push F and with the F key though they won't target the buildings until everything else is dead I'm thinking with some decent health um, which I come where is he? the map Strange, right? And if basically these these guys are, are taking the damage, he's, he's stopped off. He won't move anywhere else. But right, let's see if I'm intertwine it. So I push the space and I push F. So I'm going to move these up to the next target, and I'm going to push defend. Shift one and two of them. So that's shift two, shift one. The two is going to go back on F, go back to one, keep it moving forward, defend. It takes a bit of time to get used to. I'm not, I'm not 100% used to this, guys. I really ain't, um, but it does help. Um, yeah. So that for part one, I'm going to get, I'm going to get it all down and written down properly next time. Um, what else I've got to show you? But I think I've gone through pretty much everything I can in a base right now. So I hope that helps, guys. Um, please put, put in the comments. If you know something that I haven't shown this one, I'm going to make a part two to this. You know the S key, guys. Um, I don't think it's as used as much as it was when, when I first showed it. Kicks I have sort of uh, moved on from that. Um, but yeah, it, I, I'm always interested to learn myself more, more keys, uh, shortcut keys, and anything else like that. I think I've covered most of what I didn't from the last 
the last one I put up. I will leave that one in the description if anyone wants to go back. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, like, comment, subscribe, or dislike if you don't like it, and I will I will learn from that. Bye bye.